We're here with Carl Winkler. Carl, uh, tell us what you got. Yeah, it's exciting. So what we're introducing at the show here is our new Duet uh, digital IEM slash IFP system. And it's been a long time coming. We've been working on it. It's a brand new platform, digital transmission, uh, very compact rack uh, transmitter, and a beautiful little stereo or dual mono uh, receiver, battery powered. So it's a brand new system for us, brand, brand new platform. So tell me about how it transmits and what the protocol is and stuff like that. Sure, so this is, here's the transmitter. Half rack unit, uh, digital transmission, modulation, 8 PSK with our own proprietary algorithm. So we worked hard to uh, make it robust and to make it sound good uh, with, with really an emphasis on high fidelity. So this could be used for uh, inner monitors on a stage. It could be used for a high end IFB, like for a boom operator. Uh, the transmitter now has two dual channel carriers and a single half rack unit. So that means that essentially in an IFB role, you can save half the number of carriers. And you, we all know how important spectrum is these days. But if you're doing mono IFB, each stereo carrier is gonna carry two channels of audio. And then in the receiver, you tell it which one you want to pick up and listen to over the headphones. So let me make sure I understand yeah. this. So in this half rack unit, yep. there's four audio inputs. That's four audio inputs. Two carriers. That's right. And the audio inputs can be analog line level input uh -huh. or Dante. Uh -huh. And they can be cascaded by a Dante as well. So, and here's your Ethernet port, so that connects to Wireless Designer, Got what it. we see here. Uh -huh. And there's our DC input as well. Amazing. Two antenna ports. And the receivers can be selected so that you can choose any of those four audio signals between the two carriers. So right. one carrier at a time. Right, it's going to pick up one carrier, and then you tell it which of those two audio channels you want to listen to, or both, in the case of stereo. Uh, so incredible for um, IEMs and, and high-end IFBs. Yep. I have a I have a slightly possibly controversial question for you. Okay. Um, if I was in a studio and I wanted to distribute audio to cameras wirelessly, right? Um, can I put that on the back of a camera? Why not? I mean, you would simply take an eighth-inch jack to XLR or whatever the camera's input might be. So you could certainly use this. And it's a diversity receiver, very high quality, good range, and plenty of audio fidelity for that purpose. And um, can I lock out the volume knob, for example? So volume knob cannot be locked out. Right, so I'd have to find right. tape for that. You, for that purpose, yes. I mean, right. it's not really designed for that, but I it would work. Yeah. And it would Battery eliminator, I could do a battery eliminator. Yeah, this is the same chassis as the LT transmitter. Got it. So any accessories like the belt clip and the, and the battery eliminator are going to be the same for the LT. So Fantastic. all that exists already. All right. Uh, that's really uh, that's really impressive. So let's take a look at Wireless Designer because sure. this thing now has a module within Wireless Designer. So here we are seeing two transmitters from this chassis showing up in Wireless Designer right now. And we're feeding this one with Dante, as I mentioned, so we see a signal there. We can turn on and off our RF carrier, okay? And then we go in and look at the details of the transmitter. We give it a name, we can uh, do any settings uh, on the transmitter or the receiver, and then they're synced by infrared. The receiver and the transmitter sync very quickly. We can also use the, the receiver to do a frequency scan, and we can import that information into this and uh, do a frequency coordination based on the scan data. So uh, the, band, the band split of this unit is Six blocks wide. Six blocks wide. 470 to 608 in a single band. So that's basically A and, a and B. A1 and B1 right. in a single unit. And I can use the, the IEM receiver to scan that spectrum. Yes, you can. And then use it as a way to upload into wireless design. Yes. That's fantastic. It's pretty exciting, right? Yeah. Cool. So it's part of a system now. You can see how that's going. Wireless Designer is the central management software. Then you have your Venue 2, maybe even your old Venue, your DR encrypted system, this system, all coordinated together, all sharing the scan data. Yeah. Okay. I, I mean, if I were sound mixer needed to do wireless communications or wireless audio to my boom op, this would be a no-brainer because yeah. I could also say, hey, before we get going, let's scan on your receiver. Exactly. And 
boom operators would be happy because they have high quality audio. Absolutely. Any um, built-in hearing protection or limiters into the receiver? There is, there's a screen here that uh, is called limiter and it lets you, you know, curve the dynamic response to your, to your liking. Wow, and you can also do tricks like one carrier, one side of the carrier can be audio, the other side of the carrier can be communications. Yes, it could, absolutely. And you can do a little mixer in the receiver, is that right? Yeah, there's a mixer function that lets you uh, choose, there's a custom letting you choose how much of each goes into the mix and where they are in the stereo field. That's, that's, uh, this is exciting. It really is. Con congratulations. Now, um, yeah, not to take away, congratulations. Uh, is this a hint of technology that might migrate to, um, you know, sort of body pack audio and handheld audio? It is a hint, and I mean, we already have the DBA, which is digital encrypted, and uh, in many ways, the technology in this is based on that, and so we see that that's a new platform that's going to evolve into other products as time goes on as we feel that we've reached a level of quality that you expect from Electrosonics in terms of range, performance, audio, robustness, as we can perfect those products, we will. But this is definitely the beginning of uh, new things to come. Fantastic. Shipping when? We think probably July. Okay. So we're, we're not quite ramping up to full production yet, but we wanted to show it at the show and, sure. and give people a taste. Can, um, can folks order it right now from Gotham Sound? They can't order it yet because it's not FCC approved yet, but that should be happening, I would say, by, by sometime in May. Fantastic. So we have samples ready, and, and we know that it will comply with the new regulations, by the way, which is also yes, important. Yes, yes. So, we'll talk about that in, yeah. in the next video, but yeah. It should be worldwide approved. It fits the Etsy mask and the new Great. regs and all that. Awesome. Uh, all right. Well, um, thank you very much, Carl. Thank you. Uh, shipping July. Uh, orders soon. Um, thanks for watching.